Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing things that I have picked up over the past month, just in preparation for winter. So in the spirit of winter, I'm going to start by sharing some jumpers. The first knit that I have is this scarf neck sweater from Mango. And yes, that scarf is attached to the sweater, which is what really sold it to me. I thought it was really cool, really Celine-esque. Definitely a very statement, but simple jumper. Just something that you can throw on with jeans, trousers, something that you could wear professionally and casually. And it's just so soft and so warm as well. Another super warm jumper is this one from Topshop, really affordable, so soft, it really cocoons you in. It's quite oversized and also the roll neck is extremely oversized, but it just means extra comfort for me. A grey jumper is really a staple piece for me during winter because I wear it in so many ways. I love the way it looks with jeans, I love the way it looks under a navy coat, a grey coat and it also looks really nice with camel tones as well which means that all the camel tones that I've been wearing over autumn will still transition through in winter. As you can see I'm really into my greys this month. This jumper is from H&M and what really drew me to it is the raw hem. It just looks really premium really quite unique as well definitely quite a different take on a really simple oversized jumper this is from the premium collection from H&M and it really does feel good quality it's really thick but it can still tuck into trousers and also I just love the way it falls on the body because it's quite heavy it just kind of sits really nicely and it's really warm and I'm also still able to wear it underneath coats my next jumper is from H&M. It's just a very simple brown turtleneck jumper. It is super soft. It's probably one of the softest jumpers that I have worn and it's so warm. It gives you so much warmth. The color of this is what I really love and also I love how oversized it is. And if you have some like slip dresses or slip skirt or summery pieces that you don't want to let go of yet, you can throw this over and it'll make it really transitional and it'll look really nice during this season. I'm really loving this tie neck style this month. This blouse is from Mango and I just really love that neckerchief style to it. So the scarf is attached to the blouse as you can see and it's just a very simple blouse but obviously a little bit more of a statement blouse. The material of this is really nice and silky so I feel like you could wear it in the evening, you could wear it casually or you can even wear it to a workplace. It's definitely very versatile but it's just a really nice spin off of a really classic blouse. Moving on to trousers, the first pair of trousers I'm sharing is this pair of jeans from Topshop. They're a roll-up jean and I really love this style. A lot of people don't like it but I am very into it. I wear jeans a lot so it's nice to have a little bit of a different take on just a simple pair of jeans. I really love the white stitching on this, I just love the colour of it. That dark indigo definitely feels really nice during the season when things are a little bit gloomier. I love Topshop jeans, I find them such good quality and I always recommend them to anyone who's looking to buy any pair of jeans because I find that the sizing and the comfort of them are so good. The next pair of trousers I have is this pair of white trousers from H&M. They're very simple but they are just the perfect addition to my wardrobe. I'd say this pair of trousers is very day to night appropriate. You could wear it casually with some trainers or you can wear it with some heels in the evening and it'll just glam your look up a little bit. I find white trousers so sophisticated looking and definitely something you could wear in the office or just when you're out and about. My next piece is this coat from Under the Stories. I felt like my wardrobe was missing a navy oversized coat and I have really loved belted coats this season. I don't know what it is about them but they definitely make me feel a lot more wrapped up and warm. I think navy coats are such a staple piece to have in an outerwear collection because they just go with anything and everything. They tend to complement most tones. This coat from Under the Stories is honestly such good quality. I feel Under the Stories pieces are always amazing quality so it's a bit of an investment because it's a little bit pricey but it's definitely worth every single penny moving on to something a little bit lighter from mango this is a jacket but it's a wool jacket and it actually gives quite a lot of warmth i really love the little details on this i think it's a really nice casual jacket just really easy to throw on i love the buttons the buttons really make the jacket for me because 
they just add that really nice finishing touch. I also really love the brushed wall, I think it looks really cool, really undone, just definitely makes it a little bit more casual and I felt like I was missing some casual jackets in my outerwear collection. This one I really think will look nice with just an all grey outfit with some black trousers um, or just with some jeans. With it being winter, I'm going to be gravitating towards boots more often, so this pair of Topshop boots was really a great pick for me. They're really simple, I love the elastic on the boots, I love the heel height, it's perfect to walk around in all day. I commute around so this pair of boots is really perfect for me to run around the town and it's so comfortable. My next pair of boots is this pair from Mango. I really love the height of these boots, I didn't want something too knee high, this one just sits perfectly. I love the leather off it, it's really good quality, it's definitely something that I could pull out next season as well. I really love the heel height and also the cylinder heel on it, it's really cool. It just makes it a little bit different. I had been lasting after a Ashley Studio scarf for a while, so I finally took the plunge with it getting a little bit colder and I don't regret it at all. It's so warm, it's something that I literally have been able to throw over absolutely everything. It's just so versatile. The colour is perfect because it goes with navy but it also goes with all the camel and neutral pieces that I own. I would really say it's worth the investment because you can get so much wear out of it. The quality of it is incredible and it's just a really safe buy. My final piece is from Mango, it's this croc bag and I think it looks so expensive. For £30, it definitely looks a lot more premium. It's very simple, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can wear it crossbody, and you can also wear it as a bum bag, so it's super versatile. I really love a croc print on a bag, I think it makes it look so much more expensive, and this bag really reminds me of the Dior saddle bag, which I really love, but I'm not ready to take the plunge yet. So for now, this bag is a really amazing alternative. And that's everything, so those are the pieces that I think are going to help me stay warm this next month and I'm really looking forward to sharing some styling videos with these pieces in but for now I will see you all in my next video. Bye!